Well, here it is, March 26th, Saturday morning, and uh, hopefully we get the, uh, the rest of the engine taken out of the frame today. I am not going to lie, the thing that intimidates me the most is electrical. I know there's some electrical that's got to come off of here for uh, some kind of sensors for like the neutral switches, and the starter, and charging, and things like that. And I believe it's all up in here. I just got to snake it all down and get it out of there. But the biggest obstacle is going to be that swing arm bolt. I've read horror stories about that, and I hope it's not as pain in the butt today as it is on others. So we'll find out. So I took this uh, clutch bracket, undid these two bolts. The bracket comes off. You have a little um, swivel here get my finger out of the way and then you can put that inside there or take it out however you got to do it next we're going to take the uh, the oil lines off and then we're going to take the uh, reverser so there I did I marked it top so I know that that's the top one I don't need to mark the bottom one because I know which one's the top, I know which one's going to be the bottom, so simple there. And you're going to have some O-rings, so be careful of those. Just replace the bolts, and then now we're going to work on the... Uh... Okay, so now with that out of the way, I just reinstalled the bolt, and once again that thing just slides out into that little uh, slot right there, and that's how it hooks up. You may have to move that back a little bit to get you some room right now I did not move these I'll probably have to loosen it up to get it back in because taking things apart is easier than putting them back in same thing with this one up here I did not unadjust it but I'll probably have to readjust it once I try to put it back on and right now I just undid the spring from there the long end goes to the brake lever, the small end goes up here on the frame, just like that. Okay, when you're taking the nut off the, the top motor mount bolt, you have this little bracket behind it, which is holding that cape, holding that cable up. So let's not forget, put that on, and get it all in place before you tighten it up and everything else. Okay, so then when you're uh, getting ready to reinstall this on the motor mount bolt, there's a spacer that goes on. And then you can put your bracket back on and then your little cable holder. And then there's uh, another motor mount right there that I didn't know about. Had to uh, loosen up the four screws, back this up. I put a uh, mark on it where it's gonna line up with that. Drop the chain, dropping the chain gave me enough room to, after taking the uh, guard off and the case saver, and then getting the sprocket. So that's one less thing over there. Now the big guy. Oh, and the uh, the wiring, yeah, the intimidator. Okay, so this one plugs into that one, and then this big one plugs into that one, and you got these little tabs that you have to help out on this side and the side where my thumb is and then it looks like it's routed looks like it's routed underneath the frame here so don't put anything above the frame so then it's going to come up in this one right in that hole that's where it's going to go just like that okay so everything has to fit like a puzzle and then uh, I'm going to uh, 
fish it through because that is this and this stays on the this stays on the engine and you open this up and you let it inside it with the other wire and then you like I said before you feed it underneath so we're getting there okay then rerouting it you're gonna put it right in the middle behind this big fatty and it's gonna come out now there just like that so there we have we have that just hanging out now so that's done positive off the solenoid getting ready to take out this bolt the lower motor, uh, lower engine motor mount and there's a spacer on this side and a spacer on the other side the spacer on the other side is a bigger spacer so remember that so there they are the one that goes on the uh, right side or the passenger side or your brake side is this one and this one here goes on your shift lever side well now we're on the getting the uh, engine bolt swing arm bolt out and it's not happy yeah that nut came off no problem but over here I'm using the impact to spin it and it's it's slowly spinning thankfully all right we got it the great help of my neighbor Cliff anyway that's my neighbor he came over because he has ingenuity and we got it out thanks big big thanks to Cliff two big hammers well what we did is uh, Cliff had a brass hammer we whacked it on that bolt until it went flat and then we started throwing a threaded rod through there and just kept hammering it he had a better hammer than I had got two hands on it and just started whacking the heck out of it and we finally got it through engines out we're happy